Hello everyone. Today I wanted to talk about a really important topic. Something that I don't see talked about very much. At least in like the broader landscape. In like specific, you know, demo review settings and stuff. It gets mentioned pretty much every time. Um, and something that's just important to talk about. And that is when it's the stages of the game, the steps that you take before you take an Uber. It's not uncommon for people to kind of hear the just the number of 80% you want to be entering lobby, which is a decent enough number to follow and what I generally, you know, abide by. But I want to talk about why and I want to talk about kind of extending ad. So I have talked about this a lot in uh, other videos and every time I've just had a tough time kind of articulating it because it involves a lot of numbers and that can be, it's just, e I feel like it's easy to lose people as a result. So I'm going to try my best to articulate it as, as well as possible. But essentially, um, when you, when you simplify things, when it is Uber ad and you already have Uber, you're already at 100%, you already have that Uber and it's ad. Any time past that point, that ad is going to be dwindling and getting smaller, no matter what. So if it's, you know, 50 ad, you have 50% more than the other team and you already have Uber, it will only be shrinking. And the longer you take to do things, uh, the the smaller margins you have. And Uber margins are a big deal. I'm, I'm sure I have a video probably on the second channel about Uber margins and playing off of Uber margins and how they matter because you get to do way more things with more ad. Um, and depending on how much ad it is, you might even be able to take multiple points. Uh, but basically, more ad is always better. So... Having ad dwindle before doing things is a big deal, and it really um, it gimps your options for for what you want to do. Um, so, with that in mind, let's let's give an example. So, the classic example of just pushing last, and let's imagine forty ad, right? So. This could be as simple of a situation as your team pops Uber into mid and catches the other team's medic, right? Because if you kill an enemy medic with an Uber, that's usually 40 ad. That's just kind of the rule of thumb. Um, just the time that you spend building after your Uber uh, while their medic is respawning, right? So you have 40 ad into last because, of course, they didn't have a medic, so you guys get two for free. Uh, but they get their spawners on last, so you can't just push last because everyone's alive and you don't have an Uber yet. Um, so you have to get the ad and play it. So, in a situation like this, imagine you enter lobby and get ready to take your Uber after you get. You get Uber and then take lobby. So basically, every second that you spend after getting that Uber, that ad is going to be dwindling. So doing all the important things you need to do before taking a push such as enter lobby. In some cases, you might want to spot. In some cases, if you have an extreme amount of time, uh, you want to be spamming down a sentry gun. Um, but, you know, at a basic level, just peeking and at the very least entering lobby and getting to the door that you're going to use through are really important things or milk through or whatever, the door that you're going to get through. Um, those all take time. And if you wait until you have Uber to do those things, then your Uber margins are going to be less than they would be if you were in those positions already as you're getting Uber. So in the case of the 40 ad, if you waited until you already had Uber before entering lobby, even without spotting, just entering lobby, getting to the door, maybe getting a player buffed with crit heals, um, that could easily be another 20% deficit. Um, built off from the other team if they're just building the whole time. And suddenly it's only 20 ad instead of the 40. And in a case like 20 ad, a team might, you know, if they play the kite well and just survive for a little bit, they're going to be getting Uber 
during their hold and then you just can't push anymore um so stuff like that can make a big deal versus you know if a team's at 60 percent when you're pushing in they're not getting uber unless that fight goes very very long like extraordinarily long um or not extraordinary but just very uncommonly long i suppose um i, I suppose that just kind of means the same thing using synonyms anyway um versus if they're at 80 percent then not only is it very realistic for them to be getting uber there but they're gonna be playing to get that uber and you know as a team they understand their win condition for the fight and it's going to be even harder to win as a result um so that's just one ex just hands-on example and it's really not that uncommon to catch a medic on on a mid with an uber and have 40 add into last that's that is you know, it doesn't happen every game, but it happens often enough for that to be kind of a standard sort of situation. Um, so if we reimagine that exact same situation, only this time, you know, you entered lobby at 80%. Now you have time to buff everyone. You have time to maybe spot and see where their gun is at. And, oh, their gun's in a different spot than we expected. Maybe we want to go to a different doorway. Oh, good. We have the time to do that. Oh, and you can actually see here uh, our team is getting Uber on last and just holding because of it. Killing two scouts, so we're probably going to push out as well. Oh my god, definitely push out. Um, so you have time to do all these things that make your push more successful and higher percentage chance um, to get last, right? And this doesn't just apply to last. This applies to any Uber push you take with add. Um and it even up well i'll talk about that later i don't want to get super on a tangent um so all these things that are really important to do and really help make your push more successful you actually have the time to do um with the the uber margin that you have by no other means than just actually like moving to to take those steps before getting um and it's that simple. Just entering lobby at 80%. And suddenly, like, all these things are enabled without any any drawback. Or a very minimal drawback, which I guess I'll, I'll touch on later. Oh, man. The, the bleed effect is just nonstop going here. That is so obnoxious. I hope I get hit by another rap assassin so it goes away. <laughs> um, anyway. So, yeah. Now I want to talk about the tangent that I was about to go on. Yeah, it, it doesn't even have to be you're playing to pop the Uber. Um... It can be a dry push and, you know, something as simple as that. Because, um, you know, it, it's easy to imagine if you have, you know, that same 40 ad, for instance. Or in this case, let's say it's like 30 ad, right? And you're trying to dry push process second, uh, just to throw a point out there. So you enter, um... Let's say you wait until you get Uber and then enter sewer. And we can actually even imagine it's, it's nah, we'll stick with 30. So you enter process sewer because you want to go, uh, you want to dry push from sewer. Pretty common point for teams to push from. Um, but if you waited until you got Uber to enter sewer and you didn't go before getting Uber, then by the time you're actually through the door taking that space, then... The other team is probably going to be at, instead of 70%, closer to like 85, maybe even reaching 90. And with that in mind, suddenly they're going to be calling to their roamer, wait, don't sack, we're close to getting, we're just going to try and play the exchange. And as long as they slow you down with spam, just a little bit, and in some cases they won't even need to, then... Um, they get to play the exchange, and rather than it be disad on the point that they were going to give up if you had just walked forward 20% earlier uh, it's instead an exchange and they get to play a somewhat even fight on their point or at least fight for the point that they were going to have to just give up uh, right so just by being slow to move and waiting until you get uber to actually move to the door then you're you're immediately um, just closing off so many opportunities for taking space and taking points uh, and just doing the things that you want to with your Uber ad. Um, so yeah, that, it's it's quite important. And now I do want to talk about the downsides. 
Because of course, having Uber is really important. That is the whole reason why the other team is, you know, playing passively and the whole reason why you want your ad margin to be as much as possible. Because you want you want that that, you know, ability to just become invincible. And Uber is also really important for protecting your own med because of course Use it getting forced and using your Uber is way, way, way more preferable to dropping and dying without Uber having your med die. Because if it's ad, for instance, um, and like a lot of ad, the other team's not getting anytime soon, and you get forced, a lot of the time you're still getting that point and you get to play disad on it. Versus if your med drops, suddenly the other team has the heal advantage and can just fight the point and you don't get it at all, and then you lose the other points because, of course, it's still disad. Um, so a medic without Uber, a medic at 80%, trying to get through a doorway can't use uber to save themselves and that's a big deal so it is oftentimes about finding that trade-off between going early enough that you kind of artificially extend that ad by uh you know sort of heat checking the other team being like you you can't play close because we will get close and we will get soon enough we will get our uber soon enough that you can't uh, get out in time and you will be caught so you kind of have to play passively as if we already have while also you know making sure you have the uber when you actually need it if you know a bomb were to come in stuff like that so for things like entering lobby early um stuff like that it's generally pretty low risk but um you know if you're trying to dry a point and get through the door while you're still at like 80 percent you might meet some resistance and you might need to slow down and actually get the uber and this actually applies to wider margins than just like 20 percent trying to play an uber because uh if it's ad like if the other team sets up disad prematurely then you can kind of just dry a push without even being close to getting uber um a case i could think of is like if you're at like 60% and the other meds just spawned or something, um, or spawned recently enough that it's just a ton of ad for you guys, if they're already set up in disad, you could just dry push that point without even having Uber and without even being close to Uber. Um, so it is important not only as the attacking team like understanding that situation, but defensively, if the other team doesn't have an Uber, even if it's disad, you shouldn't be playing disad position. You shouldn't be giving that up for free. If the other team's trying to push while they're at like 70% or less, then you should be playing that evens. You should be playing close. You should actually be playing the spam on the doors because you should not be allowing them to get through. And then only when they are close to getting, only when you're, you know, you know they're at about 80, 90%. Because you, of course, want to leave room for error for like uber tracking you don't want to just be caught trying to play every like five percent margin um leaving some room for error only when they're getting uber you want to be backing up that is another important thing um that often gets uh overlooked so yeah overall i guess final thoughts here are that uber play and how you take an uber it matters a lot not only in the Uber itself and the post, which I've talked about before, but also the stages before the Uber. What you do before you even get, and how you play around and against the enemy team with regards to add and disad that doesn't quite exist materially yet, in the sense that yes, it is add or yes, it is disad, but neither medic has quite yet. Um, is pretty nuanced and important to, to think about and play around. Um, at the most basic level, you know, don't give up a point if the other team doesn't have Uber yet. And set up a push with your ad buff so that you can take the push as you're getting, basically. Those are those are the two really big things that a lot of people fail, especially the, the later one. It's, it's not uncommon for on last a team to just be slow to enter lobby, be slow to spot and then, you know, fail their push as a result. I mean, you can see here, we are in lobby. Um, our soldiers are buffed. We're just now getting Uber. I'm on the door. We're already through. Like, this is ideal. This is what you should be looking for. Our soldiers are absolutely, like, they're they're fully buffed here. The Uber's not looking great, honestly, but uh, 
you know, we, we took all the steps we could to make it as good of an Uber as possible, which is important. Um, so yeah, that, oh, and actually it looks like we're winning anyway. Perfect. Look at that, an illustrative example um, that just kind of happened to show up as I was talking about the topic. So anyway, focus on that kind of stuff. Um, just rule of thumb, enter, enter lobby at 80%, get people buffed, spot, do all those things that make your push actually good, rather than just blind use way later and, you know, give them an extra 20% uber for no reason. You know, you don't want that. Uh, and you don't want to be giving up points if the other team doesn't have an uber. So, yeah, those are the two big ones. But uh, the uber play when ubers aren't even in play yet, I know it sounds paradoxical, but uh, it, it's an interesting thing and there's definitely some nuance to it. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that was uh, informative. Hopefully that was entertaining and I'll see you guys next time.